Now, what I want you to do is go to Psalms 104 and 3. And see, you've got the Pentagon and NASA. They've been talking about uh, them so-called UFOs in the heavens. They'll give you some information, but a lot of it, they'll show you images and stuff, and they'll start talking about it. But certain videos I've seen, they ain't really saying too much. They're just talking in circles, okay? But the so-called UFO, what they, the images that they show you, those are real. Those are the chariots of the Abba Shemel Shai. Those are angels, man. And when they come back, they coming back to put in work, man. Okay? Go ahead, bro. <clears throat> All right, this is, uh, this is Psalms chapter 104, verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the cloud his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. All right, now read that for me again. This is uh, Psalms chapter 104, verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers? I mean his house. He layeth the beams of his chambers, meaning his house. Go ahead. In the waters. In the water. I mean above the firmament. In the heavens. Okay? Meaning in outer space. Okay? Above the firmament. Those are waters too. Okay? Go ahead. Who maketh the clouds his chariot? So-called UFOs. Okay, we was reading that in Acts, the first chapter. Okay, concerning the cloud. Go ahead. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who moveth? Okay, okay. Upon the wings of the wind. Who, who moveth upon the edge of the wind, man? You see, that's how. Y'all watching on the side and the angels move on the on the edge of the on the edge of the wind, man. They move on the edge of the wind, navigating in them chariots, man. That's how the angels move. Okay? Alright, so what I want is Joel, Joel 3. What I want is Joel 3. Joel 3 verse uh Started at 11. Joel 3, Joel chapter 3, verse 11. Okay. This is Joel chapter 3, verse 11. Go ahead. Assemble, assemble yourselves and come, all ye, all ye heathen. Right. And gather yourselves together round about. Go ahead. Thither cause thy, thy mighty ones to come down. Oh, Yahweh by some y'all shot. Verse 12. Verse 11. Go ahead. Verse 12. Let the heathen be weakened. Wakened. Weakened. Weakened. Yeah, right. Weakened. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, bro. My fault. My fault. It's a lucky about okay. My okay. fault. It's uh, verse 12. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Je Je Jehoshaphat. Je Jeho <laughs> Jehoshaphat. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Tongue twister. Yeah, go ahead. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Okay, one more time. Okay. Go from the top. This is Joel chapter 3, verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. So, that's what's happening in the Middle East. Everybody's getting together in the Middle East for this war. Okay? For World War III. All the military powers are getting together to go against each other. All these heathens to go against each other in this World War III. Okay, go ahead. It says, and gather yourselves together round about. That's what's happening. All these heathens have gotten themselves round about. In the Middle East is the hotbed. Even though you got uh, Russia doing what they're doing in Ukraine, even though you got uh, Joe Biden saying what he's saying, but he walked it back, you know, concerning uh, concerning uh, Taiwan, but China is taking that seriously. So 
they got they got Russia uh, and China patrolling their area and they uh fighter jets and they're bombers and then you got China uh practicing more and more war games over there by Taiwan. Okay? Even though that's going on over there, the Middle East is the hotbed. Okay? But this this war is gonna be a world war. Okay? Go ahead. This will cause thy mighty ones to come down. Then oh, the, then they're called thy mighty ones to come down. So what Joel seen was he seen two armies. He seen the armies on the ground and he seen the armies in the heaven, which was Yahweh Shah in the heaven. Okay? Go ahead. Oh Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So Yahweh Shah is going to judge these heathens, okay, in this World War III. So you're going to have great tribulation on the earth concerning Israel, going through those things that I mentioned earlier, right, concerning the famine, you know, so on and so forth. And then you also going to have that, you also going to have World War III full scale. They're going to be fighting, okay, full scale. There's going to be straight chaos on the earth, man, okay, before Yahweh Shai shows up in the chariot, okay, straight chaos, man, okay. That's it on that. That was verse 12. Okay. So what I want to do is go to Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alright, this is uh Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Go ahead. I laugh, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So what's gonna take place on the earth, even Leviathan will show up. Okay? The mighty sea monsters in the uh, in the ocean, even Leviathan is gonna show up. But the day that's gonna take place on this earth ain't never happened, no time in history. Ain't never happened since the world was established. Nowhere. Ain't never happened what's gonna take place on this earth. Okay, go ahead. It is even, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And most definitely, Jacob will be in trouble. The nigga like you know the name of will be in trouble at that time. Go ahead. But he shall be saved out of it. Jacob gonna be saved out of it. Okay? Jacob gonna be saved out of it. Give me Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And the remnant only ones gonna make it up out of that. And I'm gonna prove it. Out of Jacob's trouble. Out of this tribulation that's gonna be up on the earth. Right? It's pressing. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Yeah, so Michael gonna be with Yahweh Shah. Coming, you gonna be coming with Yahweh Shah. Alright, so Michael gonna be fighting, uh, helping Yahweh Shah uh, gather Israel, send Israel. Send Israel. Go ahead. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time, to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay, book, book, book of life. Okay. Give me Joel chapter 2. Give me Joel chapter 2, verse 31. In the book of life, man. And I'm going to show you that uh, Jerusalem is the only ones, meaning Jerusalem means it's a people before it's a place. And I'm going to show you Jerusalem is the only ones that's 
written in the book of life. And it's the elect out of the nation of Israel, Jerusalem. Okay? Go ahead. So Joel chapter 2, verse 12. Joel chapter, Joel chapter uh, 2, verse 31. All right, this is Joel chapter 2, verse 31. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai come. Go ahead. It says uh, verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai shall be delivered. Look at this abomination that's coming, man, with that hat on, man. See? That's why this place gotta go, man. See? Walking abomination, man. That's why this place gotta go, man. You see? Go ahead, bro. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as Yahweh by Shem Yahushai had said. Read it again for me. Okay. This is Joel chapter two. Verse 32, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai shall be delivered. Mm -hmm. For in Mount Zion, Mount Zion, okay, Mount Zion, which is a, a another name for saying Israel, the Zion one in the Hebrew, okay, the Zion one in the, in the Hebrew, which goes into a, a monument or a memorial. So they go into Israel. Okay, go ahead. And in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Shall be deliverance, right? In Jerusalem, not the whole world, not everybody, not all these nations. Jerusalem. And only the elect gonna make it. Go ahead. As Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai had said, and in that remnant. In that what? Remnant. Go ahead. Whom Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai shall call. In that remnant. So the elect, man, you got the nation of Israel, but you got an elect within the nation of Israel, which is a remnant, man. Only the ones that's going to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushua too sincerely is the remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel. So that's it on that. What verse is that, 32? All right, give me Isaiah uh, chapter 4, verse 3. This is Isaiah chapter 4, verse 3. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Even every one that is left. It says, even, it says, even. Read it again. Sorry, I'm going to start the top and read it again. Because that bus went by. And they're trying you out. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 4, verse 3. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. So, everyone that will read that again, I can't catch you. Sorry. This is a. Uh, Isaiah chapter 4 verse 3 and it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he, go ahead and he that remaineth in Jerusalem remnant go ahead shall be called holy shall be called holy separate go ahead even every one that is written among the living even every one that is written amongst the living what is that talking about the book of life. You see? Go ahead. In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. So the book of life has is dealing with straight just Jerusalem. Okay? That's it. And only a remnant gonna make it on this side. And Jerusalem is the Negro Latino the Native American, but the, you got the elect out of them that's gonna make it. Okay? So 